Hey guys, this is Now I'm Cover coming at you with another game. This is a uh, an early first round of five game in the High Five Invitational 2. And uh, the map is Lost Temple. The meeting is between Traven, our Orange Terran, and Lieutenant Crunch, the Pink Zerg. So, um, Lieutenant Crunch is playing random, um, as several people are in the High Five Invitational. So... He's, uh, I know he is a Protoss player at heart and normally, so it will be interesting to see uh, what he exactly goes for with Zerg, um, and already sending out this first Overlord to scout, he scouts the close position, so if, uh, if he's got an eye on this Overlord, he can actually, um, you can actually see just the command center, uh, if it was down here, and then pull it back before the Terran player can actually see your Overlord, so if, uh, if, Lieutenant Crunch was sent as an overlord to the location where Traven really is. Uh, he could get invaded certainly from that, but of course he is not. And uh, misclicked there away over the map. So, but uh, as we can see already, uh, as we have seen Traven do time and time again, he is uh, going to wall off, which of course is always a very good idea against Zerg uh, with his supply depot, barracks, and then we'll probably see another supply uh, <laughs> depot right there. And if you'll excuse me, hold on for Low a APM. second. I will shut another program that uh, is screaming at me that I have low APM, but uh, joke's on you, SC2 Gears, I'm not the one actually playing this game. So uh, we do see another supply depot here, um, and this barracks is going to finish uh, much, much sooner than the spawning pool, um, but they are on both the same harvesters with Lieutenant Crunch just getting 14 harvesters right now. So looks like he did go for maybe possibly a 12 pull. And then Traven, before he gets any any Marines whatsoever, going to throw down the tech lab and uh, probably going to pump out uh, some Marauders here. However, this drone will get here just in time to see this tech lab and uh, hopefully react accordingly. Uh, it does spot everything up here and of course can't get in to scout, but uh, knows that it was not shot at with any Marines. So it knows that, uh, that number one, there is a tech lab here and uh, of course nobody's to build a tech lab. Not, no one is going to build a tech lab and not have a purpose for doing so. Um, so Lieutenant Crunch knows that there's probably not going to be any early aggression and he does go ahead and decide to expand early. So he has got this um, macro style play that he is going to try uh, and go for it right now. Just throwing up one extractor. Meanwhile, uh, Traven is also working off one gas as well. So we uh, we just now do see one Marauder pop out as Concussive Shells is nearing completion. Um, and interesting Overlord placement here. Lieutenant Grunge does have one Overlord up here on the island uh, expansion and also one way down here uh, in case I guess Traven does decide to expand over here to the other location. But meanwhile Traven does not, uh, I don't think, yeah he, he has actually, this is just him scouting now so going for actually a very late scout. Um, he will probably see this hatchery just about the time that it spawns. So, um, meanwhile, Lieutenant Crunch is already going for Lair Tech with his one queen out here and uh, gonna grab his second extractor. So, I would uh, say it's a pretty safe bet that we are gonna see Mutalisks here. Um, so if, if, uh, if Lieutenant Crunch can actually kill this SCV off before it can see too much, there really isn't a whole lot to see here, but does actually kill that SCV off. There could be, as far as Traven knows, there could be a uh, Banelin nest over here uh, going for a good old Banelin bus there, or there could be a Roach Warren or anything like that. Um, now, he did see that Lair Tech is going to be on the way any moment now, so or is actually on the way now. Uh, so Lieutenant Crunch is going to throw up some, uh, actually three spine crawlers right now, uh, really, he feels the pressure. I'm not sure that he um, saw anything to to see that, but uh, at the same time, he realizes that getting this expansion early is somewhat risky, and uh, is definitely going to to um, to go ahead and try to defend against any sort of aggression. So we are going to see the reactor uh, still just working off one gas here, uh, but reactor and of course the tech lab play, so we can get some good old marines. Uh, but right now we've got a pretty formidable army against. Um, I mean of Travens, so of course they would not do very well against the Zerglings, which we can see a couple of Zerglings out here to get the Zelnaga Watchtowers, but um, 
they would do great as far as clearing out these buildings and these spine crawlers. So if there were any roaches on the way, um, we of course would, uh, Traven would be in a good position, but we do see the spire now. And um, so Lieutenant Crunch is actually gonna be going for Mutilus, probably uh, going to take uh, a gas or two here soon uh, at his expansion, but also throwing down a late Roach Warren. Uh, I've seen a lot of players here very recently going for Roach, uh, high, uh, Roach, yeah, Roach, high, Muta, excuse me, Roach Muta, uh, and uh, really just with the, uh, I'd say fairly recent, um, increase of the Roach um, the roach range, then a lot more Zerg players are actually using roaches, and of course with the 7 roach rush, uh, Zerg players are really actually enjoying the roaches very much. So we are seeing this roach horn and come down, and we do have an evolution chamber, but uh, it looks like it's just for spore crawlers. So actually we've got four spore crawlers all over Lieutenant uh, Crunch's base, and uh, morphing in an overseer right now, so I'm not sure. I think he thinks that Banshees could be on the way, um, but however, the factory is not even done yet for Traven here at this point. So really not going to see anything like that. Uh, however, Traven does get a great spot off, and he does see uh, he does see that spire. Uh, exactly. So he, he's going to know that mutas are on the way, so he probably could go ahead and uh, he actually moves his mu his uh, marines over here in his supply line, knows that these mutas could be attacking at any moment. And uh, it'd even be good to go ahead and get a um, another barracks down for just more marines, uh, because marines will tear through a flock of mutas like nobody's business. So uh, we uh, he is going to be getting the tech lab on his factory, so we are going to see um, some sort of tank play, or possibly into Thor's. I think Thor's, of course, since he knows Mutas are on the way, I think Thor's would really be um, the optimal thing to see right now. We only have five Mutas here on the way, and be it'd be good to see uh, maybe him try to harass a little bit, maybe try attack this supply depot. Even if he doesn't kill anything, he will go ahead and get in uh, Traven's mind and uh, and let him know that uh, you know the possibility is there for these mutas, which of course we, we are aware that Traven does already know. So we do have, looks like Traven is going to be making some uh, some Vikings to try and uh, and combat these mutas. I'm not sure if that actually is the best thing to do here. One muta going down, um, just basically uh, attacking straight for the barracks. So not really the best. Meanwhile, these Marauders and Marines do stem up. Gonna be able to take down those those spy crawlers and also these, uh, these roaches here, but more roaches are coming in to reinforce. Uh, really with some some uh, micro, these uh, marauders could uh, kite those quite excellently. And uh, meanwhile, Lieutenant Crunch does let those mutilisks die. And so those marines were able to hold off because the barracks was target fired. Barracks and tech lab was target fired. So looks like these marauders will be able uh, to continue doing some damage right now. Um, even almost taking out that queen. So as soon as these roaches pop, I think all these roaches will be able to take out uh, these marauders. However, I think um, some Zerglings, as Zerglings come in here, uh, I think those Zerglings would be uh, very good against those Marauders, of course, because you get a good surround. And on the creep, they're faster because they do not have the, uh, the speed upgrade. Do not have that. And even Traven, uh, going to go ahead and he's already got some Hellions coming. So um, he is going to be prepared for any sort of switch to mass Zergling, uh, really, and that could uh, really save him. Uh, he is now getting both gases. So um, he, he is trying to, to get, of course, <laughs> uh, transition to possibly uh, just more mutas. Here he's really uh, turtling pretty hard as far as uh, Zerg go and trying to grab these Zelnaga Watchtowers. Now if he can grab these Zelnaga Watchtowers, uh, he, I, I feel like, can be in a position where he could actually grab a third base right now, uh, maybe over here or uh, up here at the Allen Expansion. I think the Allen would actually be the most uh, safest place. Of course, he will have to uh, research um, the ability for his overlords to transport and uh, but I do think that that would be worth it so now we see Traven switching over to purely Marines which against um, against a mass roach army um, of course the roaches do win very very uh, heavily so uh, however that's not what we're seeing from Lieutenant Crunch we are not seeing mass roaches we're seeing just more spine crawlers more turtling and uh, pretty much at this point just just hard droning so um, it would have been great if Traven had expanded uh, to his natural when 
He did do that first attack, but of course he did not. And there's this one Zergling here in the way, just gonna block that. So we actually, it'd be good to see that Zergling um, burrow or something there, just to, to create a little bit of uh, frustration there. And uh, from from Trevor, looks like some bad micro kills completely takes out one Hellion. Uh, that actually could could have been very 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 useful. Uh, we've got these Hellions moving in. Hellions obviously not in the greatest position whatsoever. They are uh, pretty much taken out without much much ease. Uh, however, these two Marines do get the concave and uh, being healed and uh, by these medevacs. So, um, however, these Zerglings are quick and can get some sort of surround here on the creep. And uh, the spine crawlers here uh, are able to just clean up and that Viking not being taken care of and does go ahead and die. So, as far as the units lost have, it's pretty close. Traven has lost just a little bit more, but the real kicker is the fact that Lieutenant Crunch is on two bases and has been for quite a long time. He could be on his third at this point, but uh, I thought that was a changeling, but no, that's a, actually SCV. So, no, uh, but uh, Lieutenant Crunch, of course, has been on two bases for quite some time. These two queens going out here, going to do something. I sure hope so. Uh, looks like there is the changeling. The changeling is going to come in here and see exactly what's up. Going to see the factory uh, and actually see the command center, which the command center should have been up way before. But Traven does spot that changeling, and he actually, both of them, there was the first changeling. Uh, so he does spot that, and he goes ahead and kills that. Um, really, at this point, I, I think that Lieutenant Crunch is in a commanding lead. I uh, would look at the income right now 41 harvesters, 219. Um, that is, is only going to get worse. Uh, these mules are going to come flocking into here, and really there's not enough marines at this point to be able to hold this off. Now flying directly into the marines, I'm not sure is the best idea. They are able to uh, to take out these marines, however, they're being com continuously healed by the medevacs, but it's just not quite enough. So uh, this one marine here trying to do as much again, he does have one kill, but uh, does get instantly taken out as soon as the mules turn around and decide to kill him. So these mules, I'm not really sure what uh, what Traven can do, and he does GG. So that is it for this game. Um, well, as soon as we Traven actually leaves, I guess. Uh, but thank you very much for for watching the HFI two games, and uh, we hope you watch more and enjoy yourself. So without further ado, this is an album cover signing off.